this corner out. All right, well, I got the trenching done. So now I'm just getting this pipe in there. I gotta have two of them going up to the top. One for water up to from the well, and then one with gravity-fed pressurized water down the hill. Um, so anyways, I stuck, I put a spike right here, a landscape spike. And I'm gonna pull it tight, but I'm gonna bury a little bit of it to kind of help it stay in place, but. I got two of them in this. Um, I still have to pull some tension on the, the one to get it to uh, tighten up a bit. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is measure off of the house exactly how far this line is. So that way, whenever I need to tie into it, go into the shop, or maybe I won't. Maybe the shop will be back here, but I'll know exactly where the water line is. Thirty-four feet from that door, there's a door right there, directly straight out, thirty-four and a half is the center of this trench. And it curves going down, starts a little bit further down, but it starts to curve right about there. Alright, so I got these spools of wire. I ran them, ran two of them, but those are, I ran them all the way up to the top where the tank is going to be. And all the way down to the, the well, because these are going to be the float signal switch. So there'll be a float up on the tank. When the tank gets low or I guess it works when it gets high so when it gets full the float turns off the well pump and, and it tells sends a signal down there but when it gets down below like half or maybe three quarters or whatever you set it to it turns on it sends a signal down through one of these wires and then turns on the pump so they talk to each other and uh, I think it only requires one wire but just to be safe I'm wiring two also, in case there's a malfunction with one of the wires down the road, we'll have a spare. There's water here. This is the second spot we might think about putting this. Oh, wow. trenches. Dude, that is no joke. Muddy and... <laughs> 700 more yards. <laughs> As you can see, rolling this coil of PEX pipe was a drag, you know, it had a lot of tension built into it, so it's like a coil spring just resisting me the entire time. Glad to be done with this portion of the job.
right here I'm installing a frost free hydrant um, with some gravel in the bottom with the bucket and then it's wrapped in plastic. Um, that plastic is to keep the dirt out of it so that the water in the pipe itself can drain out. That way the pipe doesn't freeze. Well, I forgot my camera yesterday, but uh, just got here this morning and I set that big slash pile on fire. Well, I got this fire ripping. I set all three fires today. Finally quit raining. Um, anyways, I'm using the excavator to get some of these mill ends burnt up because they're just in the way. My, my new road is going to come out wider right here. so. A couple of these trees are going to have to go too, but it's going to come right through here. Wow, I got the fire going in the rain. I'll try to get these burnt up. And real hard, it rained yesterday. And uh, we ran out, we were 100 feet shy of Pex. Like, Lindsay drove to the store at 10 o'clock last night to get it. <sighs> so we're 100 feet from the top. Here it is, there's 100 feet. I pack that up to the top of the hill, plug it in, and then bury it, and we're done. Anyway, in the trenches, kind of hard to see, but that's as far as I made it. And I worked till like 11 o'clock at night. I was working in the dark, so I got to touch up on some socks. But anyway, here's our new roll. Just got to tie it onto that there, and go up the hill 100 foot, and then we just got to bury all this stuff. And we're done. It's raining like crazy though, so I'm gonna keep the camera dry in my pocket. Meanwhile, I'm uh, working up here on the house with the machine. This winter we had a lot of moisture trapped next to the house because it wasn't graded enough and it settled near the house so we got water pulled up around the house. It didn't leak or anything but uh, I wanted to add more gravel so I think the thing is, is like I have been renting these machines and then I run out of time and I didn't get it exactly how I wanted last time. 
But this time, I dug it all the way down to the other layer of gravel. There's the perf pipe and gravel, and and then I, I'm back filling it with new gravel, and then putting fabric down, and then doing another layer of gravel. So any water that comes off this sloped roof, I'll do a gutter as well, but it'll have these ports of just straight gravel channels to get down to the main one that runs out the front. I still have to hook up the water. This is the main water line for the house, but I got to drill a hole through the concrete and I'll do that after he leaves. I could backfill this with the tractor, but same thing here. Just dug down as steep as I could. And then I'm just doing these little pockets of gravel. And around the whole perimeter, there's about three feet of gravel at the bottom. But it just wasn't able to get down to that gravel because of all the mud. So as long as there's ports, you know, just straight columns of, of just gravel, to, that way it reaches that bottom. And then I'm going to do one here on the front too. But anyway... I haven't been able to like film because of the rain, but I worked super late last night and I got all of the water lines done, all of it buried, all the way to the top of the hill. And so we're gonna take two of these IBC tote tanks for now. And I dug a big pit, we're gonna connect them. So that's 800 gallons. I mean, that's probably good for us for this year. And then we'll figure out a solution with the bigger water tank at some point. But uh, I want it halfway or three quarters of the way underground at least. That way it's insulated. And uh, well anyways, it poured like crazy. As you can tell, it's just a mud pit. But I'm gonna keep hammering. I gotta return this thing tomorrow. So gotta keep on going. thing I should mention is in a couple weeks from this point here I rented a bobcat and did all the grading with that and made everything sloped away from the house at like a 10 degree angle so this is just kind of getting some gravel next to the house and uh, the grading comes later. is definitely a game changer um, it allowed us to do a lot more gardening uh, and we didn't have to pack water in we still got to get all the filtration and stuff set up but having having water on your homestead is a must so it's a, a big win for us yes we did it we got water we got running water after much much hardship we figured it out Look, yeah, 